Hey, it's Coach Ben from Online Soccer Skills, and in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down Danny Alves and how he is a great defender. And a lot of players recently have been commenting on our videos asking about doing a, a Danny Alves breakdown. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how he plays and how you can plug in and install a lot of the skills that he has, along with his mindset and different attributes that he has that can really help you out when you play in your own games. All right, so the first thing that we want to talk about is Danny Alves plays right back, and he is not the biggest defender out there. And if you ever watch his games, if you study the way that he plays, he is typically shorter than most players that he plays against 1v1. And that's not something that holds him back. That's, that's not something that limits his game because he is extremely aggressive, and he has kind of a feisty part about his game that is not going to, it's really not going to matter who he plays against. If someone's a lot bigger, stronger, faster, because he's aggressive and because he's kind of chippy out there, that can level the playing field. So recently, one of the players uh, sent me an email asking, Coach Ben, I'm one of the smaller players on my team. Should I continue to play defense? And I want to ask you a question. If you are one of the small, smaller players, are you getting stuck into tackles? Are you aggressive? Are you going into tackles knowing that you're gonna win the ball or just thinking that you're gonna win the ball? And we've made other videos about this, about your mindset and how you need to be mentally strong when you go into tackles. But this is why Danny Alves is able to play right back at a high level, at the highest level. And he's able to guard players like Ronaldo, Bale, any of the top players, he's always guarding them one-on-one. -on -one. And he can do that with confidence because he knows he can go into challenges strong and he knows that he can win the ball and he plays that that position extremely smart so the next thing we want to talk about is the ability to not just play defense but also to attack up the field and this is one of the things that i feel like separates alves from a lot of right and left backs out there that play at the world class level so when the center backs have the ball on his team or when the goalie has it he's always looking to get touches he's always looking for the ball out of the back and typically, a lot of players out there, when they play right or left back, they're thinking about just playing defense only. They're not thinking about attacking up the field. And the first thing that you have to do when you're a defender, your primary responsibility is to defend. And if you have that locked down, if you know you're a good defender, then you should start to add on different parts to your game that are gonna help you be able to be way more dynamic. And all the top right and left backs now in, in the world, they're all going forward. They're all basically playing outside midfield. And you see it all the time. When Alves gets the ball to his feet, he's looking to build the attack. He's not just getting rid of the ball when he has it. He's playing out of pressure. He's dribbling up the field. He's making runs. And it looks very similar. The way he plays, it looks very similar to a right midfielder because he's constantly up the field. And the only way he's able to go up the field is because their team is extremely organized. So if you are right back, constantly making runs up the field and your team is not organized, then if you lose the ball, then you're gonna have to track all the way back and defend. And instead of doing that, your team should be organized. So if you ever do lose the ball in the attacking third, someone else has already shifted into your spot. So that way you don't have to make those runs coming all the way back. But the other reason why he gets the ball all the time is because he communicates. He's not just standing in the corner waiting for the ball to come to him. He's demanding the ball. And that's the thing that separates him from most players out there. And this is something that you can do. And we talk about it all the time. If you're demanding the ball from your teammates, you're going to get the ball more. If you're quiet and you're reserved, you're not going to see the ball as much. So if you're a defender, you want to focus, number one, on being a great defender, just like Alves. But you also want to be more dynamic. You want the ball at your feet. You want to be able to create more opportunities for not just for yourself, but for your teammates. And you'll see it all the time. When he has the ball out wide, he's always combining with the midfielders and he's always getting the ball back. So you'll see him, like I said, on the right sideline, he's always getting crosses in. Sometimes he's even taking shots. And you can do the same if you can find yourself further up the field. And the way you're gonna do that is by keeping your team organized and making sure that there's structure in the back four and anytime you step up forward, there's someone else that can replace your spot. Another key tip I wanna talk about is how aggressive 
Alves is. So anytime the ball goes out for a throw in, if there's a set piece, a corner kick, goal kick, anytime that happens, if you watch him closely, he is always right next to the player that he's guarding. And this is a big mistake that I see a lot of players that they're not doing this. A lot of players are too nice. When the ball goes out of bounds, they're giving the player that they're guarding four or five yards of space. And that's not going to cut it. If you want to be an elite defender, you need to be right on the player that you're guarding. And this, is, this might be something that you struggle with. If you're playing against someone who's technically better than you, you kind of have the feeling that you're just gonna give them more space and more respect. And I want you to do the opposite. If you ever play against someone who's really good and confident with the ball at their feet, you need to close their space down. You need to not let them get a lot of touches because the more touches I take on the ball, if I'm playing against a defender who's giving me way too much respect, I'm just gonna blow by them every time and I'm gonna do whatever I want with the ball at my feet if I have time and space. So you have to think about that for yourself when you're playing it's a player that is skillful and confident, you need to defend them straight away on their first touch and not give them any space. But anytime the ball goes out, goes out of bounds or there's a set piece or corner kick, whatever, you need to be right next to them and make it as hard as possible. It's okay to be annoying when you play against them. And that's, that's what you want. And when you watch Alves play, especially when he plays against Ronaldo, he doesn't give him an inch. And think about it. If, Ronaldo has the ball at his feet and he has a lot of space, what do you think is going to happen? Of course he's going to attack up the field and score and take chances. So he has to be able to play against Ronaldo very tight with zero space. That way he can get Ronaldo off his game, which I've seen happen multiple times. He can get into his head because he's playing so tight to him. And this is what you want to do if you want to become an elite defender, just like Alves, you have to play with that tenacity, you have to be able to stay tight to the player that you're guarding and give them zero space. So that way, whenever they receive it, they're always constantly under pressure rather than always thinking that they can do whatever they want with the ball. Because when you play against someone who has confidence and you're not pressuring them, they're going to expose you on defense. And that's the last position on the field where you want to be exposed because you're the last line of defense there. Thanks again for watching this Danny Alves breakdown. And if you are a defender, make sure and apply these tips. It's going to help you out if you do this in practice and then you transfer that into your own games. Now, if you play a different position and you want to learn more about other players or other skills, I want you to comment below. Tell us what player you want us to break down. We're gonna be creating a lot, new, a lot of more videos about different players and different skills, but comment below, let us know what you want that way we can help you out more. Now, if you wanna become an elite player, I want you to click on this video right here. It's basically just gonna take you to a page where all you have to do is enter in your email address. And I'm gonna email you our highest level skills workout that we just finished creating. It's brand new, it's up to date. So just go to that page there, and that way I can email you our highest level skills workout. And if you're on any mobile device, you can click on that there. So just go to the first link in the description. It's onlinesireskills.com slash free training and you'll be taken to the same page. All right, I'll see you next time.